Hello guys, um, I wanted to share my opinions about the, the ranking subject. Um, rankings basically um, like there is a either system or some like but even systems are based on opinion. You can say point system that that is an opinion too. You can say why is it opinion because the system that you choose is a uh, opinion when you choose that one thinking that, that that's the best way to do it in in the combat sports i don't believe in uh, point collection you know you just compete 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 you you are collecting points this and that 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 while there is someone that is better than you and i mean i i think that in the combat sports there shouldn't be any uh since we don't give enough of chance to everyone so the, the point insist point system to me it doesn't make sense uh, what, what makes sense to me you be the guy who is rank higher than you do you take his spot and people will say that oh, in Gennady beat Dave, Dave beat Alex, Alex beat Hermes and Hermes beat Gennady but if, if, if nobody is improving if, if every day we are the same nothing is changing in negative or positive way then why people like like they should never pull same guy twice in the life since nothing is changing i mean i'm not saying that like if Gennady would pull hermes today he would beat him i'm not saying that but what i'm just saying that like if if uh, like a circle like that is happening then it is very normal that we take what happened a week ago as more important than what happened six months ago so when, when Gennady beats Dave, Dave was ranked above in Hermes and Alex, and then so he takes his spot. So you, you want to take Gennady's spot? So you pull him, you beat him, you take his spot. So that, that's what it is, you know. No need so much confusion, you know, but just thinking that, you know, like, oh, but this guy beat him. Why is it lower than that, you know? Yeah, that, that was six months ago, but this guy just a week ago beat someone that was ranked higher than the guy that who beat Gennady. So... So this is the uh, first thing I want to say. When people say that, Engin, so if you are thinking that, um, if you are thinking uh, that like latest result is more important, so and so why you uh, rank Devon number two who beats Michael who is seventh or eighth place on the rankings. Um, that, there are a lot of uh, mistakes with this kind of statements. When when Devon beat Michael, Michael wasn't seventh or eighth. When Devon beat Michael, Michael had already beaten Dave Chaffee, Jerry Calderet, and Devon Larat. So and then COVID happened, so people were inactive, you know. So if, if Michael is seventh or eighth today, it's because of his recent losses. So we can't we can't like go that way. But you are right. If, if as an example, uh, if Devon pulls just an example, Levan, and if he loses, and then in this year, he refuses any offer from top 10 and says, I'm not pulling. I would also consider him um, inactive, and I would also remove from my rankings. If he is not giving anyone chance, and then saying that, okay, this is number two spot is mine, I'm not pulling anyone, yeah, I, I would also call him uh, like inactive and then I would remove him from there. About about the Laletin case, Laletin was removed from my ranking before the event that had just happened in Chechnya. Um, because the Russian athletes are banned by the International Federation and they don't have opportunity to pull anyone from top 10. So... I mean, like when there is a, a problem like that, it is it is normal that you know they should be removed from the ranking until they are allowed to pull other people from top ten. So, what I just uh, try to say that I'm sure that they are good enough, and if as I am sure that they are good enough, once they are allowed to pull anyone from top ten. So they just pull, they beat them, and they take their spots. But right now, I mean, they should be like pulling other guys from top ten to be part of the rankings. And some people says, "Engin, 
Georgian athletes are also banned by WAF. So why do you allow Georgian athletes and not the Russian athletes? That, that is also a misinformation. Just go to WAF's page and then read the both decision. You will see that all Russian athletes are banned from all kind of international events. While about the Georgia, it is Georgian Federation that is banned for not being able to organize 2021 World Championships as they promised. So if you watch that, if, if you just read that, you will see that they are not allowed to compete as a federation. There is only one part in the decision uh, Georgian athletes are mentioned. It is It says that Georgian athletes are not uh, allowed to participate WAF World Championships individually. That there is nothing that about Georgian athletes they cannot pull anywhere else. So, it two different things, you know. The 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 decision about the Russian athletes and decision about the jo Georgia, like two diff two different things. They are they are not the same thing. And also, my event is not a WAP sanctioned event. And you may say that if it's not WAP san sanctioned event, why do you care about the WAP decisions? Why I care the WAF decisions? Because if I don't listen WAF decisions, WAF can prohibit WAF athletes to compete my event. So it would cause that I would allow some Russians to compete my event and then losing all WAF athletes uh, you know, they won't be able to compete my event. So that these these are the things. You know, just trust me, everything I'm doing, I'm thinking good and I'm I'm making decisions by calculating uh, everything. And my my rankings, some people think that the rankings you see as the most famous has something to do with my ranking. It, it has nothing to do with my ranking is on the Arm Masters uh, only blog. And I will I will post i will share the link on the description section about uh the rankings that i'm doing so again the rankings are opinions opinions of uh, of course based on results but the judgment that you prefer is the opinion of the people who are making the ranking so um as i said like if people, young people, your new fans don't know, I'm the first person who did the first world rankings for many years, probably, I don't know, maybe eight years, nine years. I, I did the world rankings. I don't remember how many years. And then it gave me a headache and then I stopped doing the ranking. But my rankings were widely accepted from all over the world. You can ask Devon, you can ask John. I did even the world rankings for some time for the PAL as well, you know, they they, they wanted me to uh, do that, I did for them as well, you know, so, as I said, <clears throat> um, these are my rankings, and I will share on the Arm Masters only uh, blog, um, so I want to do explain uh, how I see the things, and why I do the things as I do. Anyways, thank you, thank you very, very much.